Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Walden with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're taking another look at Tony Brooks James, the Oregon running back. We're talking about pad level. Regardless of what size you are as a running back, you have to have good pad level, especially between the tackles. It's It doesn't matter whether you run high at a certain point. It's at the point where you're going to have some traffic that you're dealing with where running low can really come in handy. And it doesn't always have to do with strength and power as much as it does leverage. Number 60 here at the right hash. He's going to come off his block and come down this line in pursuit and meet number 20 at the 26-yard line. Okay, I believe that's the 26-yard line. And see, you can see the wrap right there. But you see how the low pad level is by James? Instead of getting wrapped up and stopped here at the 26, he's able to extend to about the 22. So he gains another four yards, almost five yards to the 21 on this play, turning really a second and 10 into a third and four, third and three. And what could have easily been, if he didn't have good pad level here, a third and eight. So that's a five-yard differential because of the low pad level. And let's break down that low pad level because it starts about right about here. See him start to lean and drop those pads right about here. Number 60 wraps the, the helmet and the, trying to get the shoulders. Because he's underneath the, the wrap mark, he's able to slide through that, slide off the shoulders, slide through the wrap trying to get to his hips, and the defender has to settle for basically the knee and ankle to bring them down. But the contact started at the head and shoulders. And that's because, again, pad level and body lean. It's not so much strength. I mean, the strength helps a little bit, you know, when you're going to drive through a little bit of some of that. But it's really leverage. Especially with this extreme example of a 185-pounder going off against probably a guy who's at least 270, 280, if not bigger. So that's why, you know, technique, technique matters. You can have some tall, fast backs who run really high and they get hit upright like this and they get knocked sideways in the crease or they get held to a minimal gain despite how physically impressive they look. So sometimes it just comes down to understanding angles and understanding how to create the best angle. And that's what, you know, football technique is designed to do. Really nice job by Tony Brooks James. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.